Hi, this is Scott Hanselman. You may have seen some of my YouTube videos on being a more effective Windows 8 user. If you haven't seen those, take a look at Hanselman.com slash Windows 8 or at the playlist here on YouTube. Now, right now, I'm running Windows 10. This is the Windows 10 technical preview. You can see it down here in the corner. I've just installed this and I made sure to install it on a laptop. A lot of people have said in the past that Windows 8 was more of a touchscreen operating system and something that was oriented for tablets. So I wanted to make sure that I got a sense of how it worked on a laptop. Uh, this is my personal laptop that I've upgraded from Windows 10 to the technical preview. Certainly this is not a version of Windows that you want to install unless you're a techie and you're willing to destroy your computer because who knows. Uh, but right now I wanted to check it out. So right off the bat we can see my desktop. Down here in the corner, a couple of new buttons. We'll explore each of those, but I'm going to click on the Start button, and you see that it looks like kind of a combination between Windows 8 and Windows 7. You've got your kind of Windows 70 looking menus here. I can type for a particular application like Calc, and there's Calculator. But I've also got kind of a Start menu here. Now I can grab this menu and resize it, which is cool. So I can make it as long as I want or as tall as I want. But I can also right click in here just like I could before in Windows 8.1 and make these larger. And you'll notice that this start menu becomes more of a start screen as I start doing that. And I can move things around. So it's kind of a nice combination. It's a nice opportunity to have uh, both a start screen and the traditional start menu. It makes sense why Microsoft would do that for enterprises. Now, if you don't like it, you can always right click on the taskbar and hit properties. And go over here to Start Menu and say, I want to use the Start Screen. And then when you hit Apply, they'll say, all right, we'll do that. We'll sign you out and we'll bring you back with the Start Screen. So you've got a choice, so don't feel bad about that. One of the other great things that they've just added is the notion of a virtual desktop. So if I click this button down here, Task View, it says Add a Desktop. So I've got multiple virtual desktops. Now right now I haven't figured out how to change the wallpaper on a per desktop basis. But if I come here and I open up Notepad, I can switch to another desktop and you'll notice that it's not there. Here's uh, Internet Explorer on a desktop. And here's Firefox running on another desktop. And I can switch between those. So I could have my mail here and I could have my browsing over here. That's interesting. I can still Alt-Tab, and you see that the Alt-Tab experience has changed a little bit, which is kind of nice. If we open up a few more things over on this desktop, like Explorer and IE, I'm going to pick those up. I'm going to take Explorer. I'm going to grab it and drag it up against the right side and snap. You've seen that before. That's been around since Windows 7, but you'll notice that when we, when we do that, the next obvious thing is to snap something else on the side. So it's giving me a choice. What do you want to snap over here? Click. Now I don't have to snap and move and find things. I get a side-by-side -side view automatically, which is great. So just boom, snap, boom, snap. You'll notice that there's also a nice visual improvement in your windows here. You've got kind of a, of a shadow there, a kind of a haze or a glow, a halo uh, around this. And there's a re visual refresh to the Chrome around this, uh, all of our desktop windows. And speaking of desktop windows, let me run a traditionally full screen application like my Xbox Music. You'll notice that it starts on the desktop. Looks like a window. I can uh, resize it, minimize it. I can treat it like a regular window. So full screen applications on desktops and laptops appear to be applications like any other which is nice. And there is talk, and there was talk when they presented this on stage at the announcement of a thing called Continuum. That Continuum is not included in this build, but apparently they have an idea where if you disconnect your mouse and keyboard, these will go full screen, which would make sense, turning it into more of a tablet experience. But when you're running in desktop, you get the title bar that you're familiar with. You also get this button, which is kind of interesting. This lets you get to things like full screen. You see, click that again, exit full screen. Also things like settings that were in the charms bar before, you can get to them this way. So I just click that dot, 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 share, search, application specific commands, all your app commands are right there, which is pretty cool. So my desktop apps and my full screen apps 
are now, or my modern apps, my universal apps are now living side by side. Another one that uh, maybe you don't care about, but maybe you do, the command prompt has got quite the overhaul. Take a look at this. There's now, get into the properties here, change the transparency of your command prompt. All sorts of cool new things under the experimental tab. Most exciting ones are things like resizability. You can resize it, get nice word wrap, finally a modern console. Maximize, minimize, all the kind of stuff that you expect, as well as copy-paste, being able to control C and then control V, which is nice, and also doing a select, holding down Alt and doing a column select. So it appears to me that they are actively working on the console and it's going to get even better. So that's nice. Not just modern apps, not just desktop apps, but also the console all coming together into a uh, a new kind of a hybrid. And now down here in the corner, we've got a search button. That's integrated. There's talk that maybe Cortana, the a personal assistant, will be in here. Uh, here I can go and search for different things. Say search for like Zimbabwe. It'll bring up the search app. You can see that right there. I can also search for files on my system. Here we've got our task manager again, search and Windows key all in the same location right there in the taskbar. Explorer also has a visual refresh. Not sure what I think about this yet, but there's a new location called Home. And within this is Favorites, Frequent Folders, and Recent Files. I think I would prefer to have my, this PC be my, uh, my home, but I could see for uh, non-technical relatives where they might get lost, that could be potentially useful. And this new Recent Folders search folder is, uh, is new as well. And then you can see also add to favorites. Uh, favorites are now very prominent. That's a quick tour around the Windows 10 technical preview. If you do join the preview at preview.windows.com, do be aware you probably don't want to put it on your main machine, but you will get regular updates. So if you are an enthusiast like me, you want to get those builds regularly and find out what happens between now and next year, that's the way to get it. Again, my name is Scott Hanselman. Be sure to check out the rest of my YouTube videos right here on this channel.